It's March 7th, 2021. Here's a real quick fun one here. The top trace is the output of a Hewlett Packard 105A. It's an ovenized oscillator. And the bottom trace is a rubidium frequency standard, which is the rack here. So you can see, right now I'm triggering on channel 2, which is the quartz oscillator, the top trace. The bottom trace is a rubidium oscillator. This is 10 megahertz, this is 5 megahertz. And I'm going to trigger... I'm going to trigger on the rubidium standards, the 10 megahertz standard. The top trace is the quartz oscillator, the HP 105. You can see they're not, they're not on frequency. Now I'm triggering on the quartz oscillator, and you can see we're drifting in frequency. As the quartz oscillator warms up, the uh, the, the rep rapidity with which this lower trace is moving will slow down when they're perfectly on in phase this will stand still it's kind of fun to watch when you turn it on here the uh, as the oscillators come up to temperature and stabilize This is an old unit. This is an old HP 105 oscillator. This is a, I built this a number of years ago. This is a rubidium standard using a surplus rubidium source. You can see it's slowing down a little bit. Hope there isn't too much glare here. But as they, as their phase gets closer, eventually that bottom trace will stop moving or, or moving very slowly. And it takes a while. Not as long as a GPS standard. That You have to leave running for a period of time. The GPS standard is more accurate than both of these for long-term stability. But for short-term short stability, the rubidium is probably the best. I don't leave these on all the time unless I'm going to calibrate a frequency count or something like that. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. You can see the lower trace is slowing down because they're approaching the same phase. Right now I'm triggering on, let's see, I'm triggering on the 5 megahertz HP quartz oscillator, that's this trace. This is a rubidium standard. Now I'll trigger, trigger on the rubidium standard. You can see how it's slowing down. They're approaching frequency here. I should say phase. The, the rubidium standard is twice the frequency of the oscillator, 5 megahertz. 10 megahertz. Once their their phases are in phase, this will slow down. And once they're exactly in phase, it'll stop. And I can put the GPS standard in, which is a 10 megahertz standard, with the rubidium standard, and the same effect will happen. Okay, see, this is a little over 10 minutes now that they've they've been on. The quartz oscillator, the HP, has a ovenized oscillator. It takes a while. Really, should leave this thing plugged in all the time. The rubidium standard, when you first turn it on, it's unlocked. Once it locks, it's pretty much on frequency. It doesn't take very long. It takes about three or four minutes for the rubidium standard to to a lock at 10 megahertz. Yeah, it's still slowing down a little bit. 
in another half hour or so they should be pretty stable this is looking at the output of the rubidium standard on this old service monitor it's set for 10 megahertz and frequency monitor make sure it's zeroed now they're so close in frequencies it's so close to 10 megahertz the frequency air meter you can't read it on the analog meter but you can see on this it says beat this is the beat note between the internal oscillator in this old Singer FM10C unit and the output of the rubidium standard so it looks like it's just a couple of cycles off if this light stays on or off it is right on frequency so here I can go here's a hundred Hertz high Okay, 1.5, measured 100, there's 200, 300, 400, 500, pretty close, oh, we just lost it here, okay, I'm out of the range here, I'll have to go back. Get your level too hot, and you see it says overload. You need to be in the operating range. Don't need to use it right now, but this also has a a scope on it. You can look at the signal. Right now, it's not necessary here. I still like this old unit. This thing's old. This was my first service monitor, but it's still pretty good. Here you can see it's the uh, it's really close. Looking at the the indicator of the the beat between the two frequencies, it's pretty close to a cycle now. Well, it's been about two hours and uh, they're starting to stabilize. You can see here on the top is the, the heated quartz oscillator, the five megahertz oscillator in the HP unit. And I'm triggering on the rubidium standard. So let's time, I'm gonna time the uh, time difference here starting now. I get a between four and five seconds so four seconds that would be a difference of what about 250 millihertz quarter of a quarter of a cycle that's getting pretty close I'll leave it run another few hours and see how uh, close it gets I have a feeling I'm gonna have to adjust the oscillator on the HP this hasn't been run in a long time and there is an adjustment on here on the front where I can adjust slightly the oscillator frequency.